Is Prince Harry and Meghan Markle actually in danger of losing their royal titles? Well, if the public had their way... up everyone it's me Steph the Alter Nerd, your nerdy alternative and welcome to another dose of the Daily Nerd where I break down the news and pop culture stories of the day that's pretty much got me eye and oh my goodness yes is Prince Harry and Meghan Markle in danger of losing their royal titles well if the public had their way potentially however I disagree on a slight point to that, and I'm going to jump into all of that in a moment, including my disagreement. In the meantime, though, a little bit of housekeeping. Firstly, YouTube human reviewer, I see you lurking. I'm not going to say any trigger words or anything that's going to offend your ear holes. And to everyone else awesome enough to have clicked on this video, Hi, welcome, how are you doing? If you love this kind of news and pop culture on the daily served with a little bit of sass and gobbiness, which is basically this, right? Do make sure you click on that subscribe button. Help us get to 100k so we can get that silver play button. Like, share, comment down below your opinion, conspiracy theories and whatevers. Also as well, for your consideration, you can always send me a super thanks, which is just below this video right here. It does guarantee a response from me. And... <laughs> Oh, yes, let's jump into this one, shall we? So this is from Newsweek, and it's now saying that Americans think that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle should lose their titles. Now, I agree to a certain point. There's part of it where I disagree, where there's a title in particular that they shouldn't lose. Uh, wait until the end, and I'll let you know what I'm thinking there. In the meantime, a poll came out, uh, exclusive to Newsweek, showing that almost half of Americans now believe that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle should be stripped of their royal titles in a dramatic turnaround on a long-standing, apparently controversial subject now. Not too controversial for me, but okay, whatever. Uh, the couple were made Duke and Duchess of Sussex when they married back in May 2018, and it was a gift, a wedding gift from the late... Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II to Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Now, it is a gift. However, royal protocol, royal rules does dictate that the monarch always has the power to rescind that gift. To take that gift back whenever they want. So, the whole Duke and Duchess of Sussex titles is not guaranteed to stay with them forever. If King Charles turns around and says one day, you ain't having those titles anymore, they're not having those titles anymore. They're taken. They're done, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's the way it works, guys. Now, they continue to refer themselves using the titles, including on their Archerwell website. Uh, calls have been growing in my own home country in Britain, England, UK, for them to be stripped of the titles in the wake of them leaving the royal family. And in light of the major disagreement, the major rift, the major drama between Meghan and Markle and the royal family. Um, however, as recently as December the 5th, so the beginning of last month, Americans didn't agree with only 43% saying they should keep the titles and 27% saying that they should lose them. But those figures have just completely reversed because a month later, after the Harry and Meghan Netflix series and the book, whoo, now 45% are now saying that Harry and Meghan should be stripped of their titles. Over a month ago, it was 27%. Now nigh on double to 45% now saying that Meghan and Markle, their titles, gone, boof, disappeared into thin air, take it away kind of thing, uh, with 26% opposed and 28% responding that they didn't know, according to the polling by Redfield and Wilton for Newsweek. Now, again, I agree to a certain extent that their titles should be taken away, but there's one in particular that I believe should not be taken away. And again, stick with me and I'll let you know towards the end, the title I think should never be taken away from them, no matter what. Uh, now, The Swing follows the release of the book Spare, 
the publicity tour, the broadcast of the Netflix documentary, or as I like to call it, mockumentary, Harry and Meghan. Uh, since the world has learned a lot about Prince Harry, in terms of, I like this bit, his Frost Britain crown jewels. <laughs> Whoever wrote that snaps to you. Uh, after he described the memory of his mother waft uh, wafting back to him as he applied her favourite uh, as Elizabeth Arden lip cream down below. Uh, he also revealed his rivalry with Prince William, described Queen Camilla, Queen Consort Camilla, it should say there, as dangerous due to her relationship with the press and revealed that Princess Charlotte cried over her baggy flower girl dress before Harry and Meghan's wedding. Um, Prince Harry told his Netflix show he had offered to give up the titles during emails with the royals about his planned exit sent in early January 2020. He says, in one of those, I said that if it didn't work out, we would be willing to relinquish our Sussex titles if need be. That was the plan. He further says, we thought it would be good to give ourselves some breathing space, but we were also really passionate about continuing our work throughout the Commonwealth, supporting the Queen. They wanted it both ways, guys. They wanted a half in, half out. They wanted all the trappings, all the hoo-ha, all the benefits of being part of the royal family, but not fully being part of it and being able to pick and choose what they wanted to do and try and you know limit the more negative aspects of being part of the royal family but it doesn't work that way you're the part of it you're not and they decided not to be a part of it fine but what they're doing now i could go on a rant there could be another whole video not gonna go there <laughs> but right he turns around and he says look i sent him an email i said i'm happy to relinquish the six titles do I really believe that? Well, until I see the email, no. No, I don't. I don't. A lot of things that have come out of Harry's gob has been debunked. I mean, especially in the spare book, right? I mean, his memory seems to be extremely selective and in some certain cases, absolutely fantastical. <laughs> Not based in reality whatsoever. Apparently getting an Xbox three, five years before it even actually was released. The first, like... Uh, iteration of it so i mean come on uh, a lot of what prince harry now says i take with a pinch of salt is it true is it not true well without the receipts i ain't gonna believe a word that he says now it's as simple as that so for him to turn around and say well i did offer to give up our sussex titles really megan was really gonna allow you to do that are you sure i don't know until i see that email I'm extremely sceptical of that. But the title that I think should never be relinquished, he should ne it should never be taken away from them, is the Prince title. Yeah. I'm going to defend Prince Harry and Meghan Markle on this point. I always keep 100, guys. Uh, and I know that when I defend them, you guys don't like it too much. But... Again, I will keep it 100. The Prince title, Prince Harry should never have taken away. Why? Because that is his birthright. That's his blood right. It's, uh, he is born a prince. You can't get away from that, right? It, it, he is Prince Harry. He is a prince of the realm. For better or for worse, that is who he is. That is his birthright. That is his blood right. That is just his right. And so for me... You cannot, in my opinion, conspiracy theory, whatever, take away his title as a prince. But the title of Duke and Duchess of Sussex, oh yeah, take that away. Like, duh, off with the heads kind of thing. Take it away. Take that away from them. absolutely. freaking lootly And you know what? With everything that's come out with spare, with the threat, in my opinion, conspiracy theory, whatever, of a spare part two, yeah, King Charles, I would hope with his advisors and the courtiers and, and and everyone else at Buckingham Palace I would hope they are extremely considering now removing the title of Duke and Duchess of Sussex especially now with this poll in America no less that traditionally was very supportive of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle now turning around and saying yeah they should lose the titles 
Like, the reality of the situation is the public is now waking up to the fact of who Prince Harry and Meghan Markle actually are. And they're not deserving of these titles. They're really, really not. At the end of the day, you, you're going to drag the royal family through the mud. You're going to be attacking them, trying to destroy them, this, that, and the other. Then you shouldn't have those titles. Why should you have those titles that come from an institution that they're trying to destroy, in my opinion, conspiracy theory, whatever? It doesn't make no sense. So, yeah, take away the Duke and Duchess of Sussex titles. But for the reasons that I've already mentioned, you can't take away his title as prince. You just can't. But you know what? Enough of my gob. It's now time for your gobs. If you appreciated this video and you want more, and of course there's going to be more, and of course you want more, do make sure on your way out that you've subscribed to this channel. Do help us get to 100k so we can get that silver play button. Like, share, Comment down below your opinion, conspiracy theories and whatevers. Also as well, for your consideration, you can always send me a super thanks, which is just below this video right here. It does guarantee a response from me. And until the next time, you guys. Laters.